All right, guys, in this video, we are gonna answer the question, does sensor size affect depth of field? And we're gonna do it in a realistic way. I'm gonna take a series of pictures with cameras with different sensor sizes. Now, we made a video a little while back where we put together a full frame camera with a micro four thirds camera. And a lot of the comments that came through from people was how sensor size affects depth of field and people were saying that they should buy full frame cameras because you get a be lot better depth of field right so i'm actually going to put this to the test by taking photographs and showing you now if you're a pixel peeper this video is not going to be for you our channel is not for you in fact we do real life tests all right we test things in the real world so i'm going to take a series of pictures put them up together and you are going to decide whether or not it is a massive difference between a full frame and a micro four thirds and whether it's actually worth arguing about all right so let's get on with it so i'm going to take a shot of this fence here because obviously it's going off into the distance i'm really close as well so that's going to really exaggerate depth of field and I am going to focus on the same spot in every single shot. On here, I've got the full frame camera. I've got a Canon 5D Mark II on here at the minute. That is a full frame camera and I'm using a 50mm lens. I'm going to take a picture at f2.8. Like that. I'm going to take a picture at f5.6. like that and I'm going to take one last picture at f16 and that's going to give us a good range okay and that's the f16 picture done now I'm going to put a link in the description of this video as well so you can click on it and see these pictures bigger if you like higher res and compare them well in more detail if you want to a link to that will be in the description of this video now I need to change to the micro four thirds camera and take the pictures with that as well okay so now i've put on an olympus omd em1 mark ii now it's in exactly the same place the focus point is exactly the same um, the only difference is that the sensor size on this is smaller than the other camera there now if you are interested in learning more about sensor sizes We've got a sensor size guide. It's totally free. The link will be in the description of this video. Go and grab it. It's a free guide and you'll learn all about sensor sizes, okay? Um, right, the other thing that you need to know is the focal length equivalents, they change. And what I mean by that is we were shooting at a focal length of 50 mil on that camera there. And to get the equivalent on a micro four thirds camera, we need to shoot at a focal length of 25 mil. It's really easy with micro four thirds. All you do is double it um, and you get the equivalent, all right? So I'm gonna put that to 25 mil and I'm gonna take three shots again, exactly the same as before, same focus point and everything. And then you guys are gonna compare and see if the depth of field is that different. So here we go. Here's the first shot, f2.8. Good, and now I'm gonna change the aperture to f5.6 and take another shot. Good, and now I'm gonna change the aperture to f16 and take another shot. Easy as that. And now I'm going to overlay the pictures side by side. So here is the f2.8 one. Here is the f5.6 one and here is the f16 one now like i said before there is a link in the description of this video that's going to take you to a page where you can view them pictures really big and higher res all right so if you really want to look at them more in depth click that link but i am now leaving it up to you right this is for you to decide. Does it make that much of a difference between full frame and micro four thirds when it comes 
to depth of field. Let us know in the comments below. I'm really interested to see your views and I'm sure other people are as well because from what I saw from the last video I made when I pitched full frame and micro four thirds together, there were some really, uh, shall we say, controversial comments, right? So I am leaving it up to you. Discuss in the comments. Tell us what you think. Is it worth it? Is it worth all the money and all the size to get full frame or can you get the same effects with micro four thirds? You tell me. I hope you really like this video. I hope it's helped you out. I hope it's answered some of these questions about depth of field and sensor sizes. If it has, like the video, share it with your friends. Like I say, add a comment, subscribe to our channel, join us on social media. We'd love to see you there. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.